this for your eggs, nigga. We in the garage in today. I'm not gonna lie, the music is gonna be playing in the background, but today's video is a little, it's different. We're not gonna really be vibing out with music, we're just gonna be vibing out with what's been on, like, my mental, if that makes sense. I don't know if you want to hear it, you don't gotta hear it, but yeah. Oops, it's turned to y'all. But sorry, excuse me. I where's my manners? I didn't even speak to y'all. Hey y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Girls Me Wee here. But um I don't know, I feel like I kinda we real called you today. Do we in the garage? Got my split pants on, girls and we. And I got my socks on, girls and we. Girls and we, if you didn't get y'all socks yet, what are you doing? Am I trying? Hello, what are you doing? I don't know, yeah, today's video, I'm gonna try to talk and multitask as much as I can. And then if you ain't got no rolling train, what are you doing? What are you doing? If you ain't getting no lighter, what are you doing? You're not a real member if you don't got no girls and we accessories. And we got keychains too. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're not a real member. But yeah, I'm finna. I was just smoking that blunt. I'm not a blunt. I'm kind of like all over the place because I have to make sure that I remember really what I want to say and what this video is basically about. I'm gonna really start off by explaining the girls need we basically like. What is the motive? What is the message? Like, what? why the fuck do girls need weed? Um, first of all, first and foremost, I do live in a legal state of marijuana. So, that's first and foremost that I want y'all to, I want y'all to get that. Why am I nervous? Because <laughs> I don't be talking for real. I don't like people to know what the fuck I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't want people to know how I feel. And that, so hold up. Let me calm down because I'm getting I'm getting a little nervous talking to y'all. I'm getting a little nervous. And I don't really want to just Bro, this mosquito. Fuck, fuck. I mean I miss. I'm allergic to mosquitoes, so please don't bite me. Please don't bite me. Um, I don't know what to do. But anyways, behind what the fuck girls need weed. Once again, I live in California, so weed is legal around here. Weed, it's very common. Bitches smoke weed. But my whole thing about girls need weed is, I feel like weed, marijuana, cannabis, whatever word that you want to use, I feel like it was an outlet for me. I feel like weed helps me be, like, creative. I feel like it keeps me calm. I, it keeps me sane. I don't know. It kind of, like, I feel like for the most part, I feel like weed makes me creative. Like, when I smoke weed, I be wanting to, like, just create hella shit. Like, if y'all didn't know, I do be sewing. But I don't know. It just makes me want to, like, do stuff. Especially depending on what you smoke. Of course, there's sativa and there's indica. Indica is more, like, on the slouchy side. Sativa is supposed to be more of a uppity-uppity. It gets you moving. I don't really smoke sativa like that because I don't like the way that it tastes. And I don't like the way that it... I don't know. But for me, behind the whole girls need weed, it's just, like, weed is my outlet. Like, weed... I would talk to weed before I talk to a person. I'm going to smoke a blunt before... Like, I don't know. It's just, it's just like my outlet. It's not like a negative thing. Get this, get this out the way. I don't feel like smoking weed has to be negative. And if anybody thinks it's negative, maybe they can't roll the wood. Maybe they can't roll the paper. Maybe they can't even get in the club to get some weed. I don't know. Maybe they ain't got no good ass plug. And you don't have to look at weed as being a negative. Some people do. There's, I don't know what the fuck. There's a term for when you let weed just, like, basically get the best of you. Like, you are very 
unproductive, you don't really get shit done, it's just like, like, you just be, you let we take over you, it's a specific term for that shit, but I don't know, I can't think of it right off the dawn, or whatever, but, yeah, I just feel like my brand, Girls Need Weed, instead of getting love, bitch, give me some weed, niggas be lying, like, I don't know, it's just, it was, it's just my outlet, I feel like, and then it's weird because niggas would be like, oh, you smell like a nigga, you smell like this, I just feel like, weed don't lie to me, weed don't talk funny to me, weed is weed, I know, I know what this is, I know what I'm smoking, I don't know, it's just like, I don't know, weed is an outlet for me, so it's not really, it's not supposed to be looked at as a, bad thing there's hella stoner girl stoners who are productive like they get shit done i don't know weed is just like it's my outlet that's how i came up with girls need weed i was smoking i'm just like damn i be needing this or like i be, I just like i just love weed so i'm just like girls need weed girls need weed and i came up with this shit in like what 2020 2021 it was it was between 2020 and 2021 that's when i just I just wrote that shit out, and I was just like, girls need weed. I was just I was just playing around with it, and I just really ran with it. And I feel like niggas fuck with it more than the girls, which is weird, but I don't really care. Whoever fuck with it, they gonna fuck with it. If you don't, you don't, and that's just what it is. And that's another thing that I came to talk about. Let me hit the blunts, because it's just lit. That's another thing that I basically came to talk about is fucking brands, entrepreneurs, and just like businesses in general. I don't know. I feel like a lot of the no, I'm not even gonna say that. I don't want to say that because it's when it's your time, you gonna know it's your time because it's your time. You can't move how nobody else move. You can't move when nobody else move because you are yourself. You're not that person. But I just feel like it's a lot of. Uh, like clothing brands or just like brands in general oversaturated with the same ass shit oh my god this mosquito is bad get the fuck out of here but no like i was saying i just feel like hello brands are pretty much the same like what is different about these brands y'all y'all get a logo or like y'all get like a saying and y'all just throw that shit own the clothing the same way as somebody else like if i open my instagram if i open my instagram right now i'm gonna see similar style clothing brands with the same type style if that makes sense i'm i'm not no hater definitely far from a hater i give props and i like when it's my time it's my time that's not really what i'm focused on i just feel like People are being, or, like, people are creating shit just to, like, do it. Like, they're not doing it for a passion or with a purpose. I just feel like they're doing shit to, because somebody else did it. You know what I mean? Like, it's no, like, real, like, you know, you don't have, like, no real goal at the end of it. You just all, like, let me do it, because they did it. With some people, there's passion behind this shit. There's purpose as to why they want somebody to you know, it's weird. I just feel like it's hella oversaturated with the same ass shit. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's me. Oops, I'm dropping ashes. Maybe it's me, but I just feel like, just stay down. Find yourself. Be yourself. Like, somebody who love you for you or, like, really fuck with you for you is going to navigate to you because you're being yourself. When bitches and niggas is out here, sorry, excuse me. When people is out here just following the leader, that just, I don't like that shit. I like different shit. Like, I like people who know their purpose, or not really just, like, know their purpose, but just, like, they fuck with themselves. Like, they true to themselves. Like, stay true to yourself. Like, nobody could ever really take that away from me, because I feel like I am myself. I don't really, like, look up to nobody, or just, like, if I see something, like, I admire about a girl, or, like, a person, I'm gonna give them them props, like, I, res I respect that, I'm not a type of person, but it's just, like, I'm not around her, ooh, let me get that, she got that, or, ooh, let me do that, because she doing that, and it's, like, no, it's for them, that's what they're doing, I'm doing what I want to do, whoever fuck with me, gonna fuck with me, it's just, like, I don't know, people ain't being original, <laughs> sorry. And that shit just really been heavy on my, like, mental. Because it's like, bro, I just seen this. This nigga just did this. Like, I just seen this. I just, like, 
is anybody being themselves? Like, what world are we fucking living in? Like, I feel like everybody is a fucking robot. Like, I don't know. My whole, my whole goal and my whole, like, purpose or whatever is to just, like, tell motherfuckers to be themselves. Create your own fucking lane. Create your own line. It's so much stuff you could be in the world. You don't have to be or do what somebody else is doing. Be yourself. Be your fucking self. Be you. Like, it's not really that hard. Uh, but it could be that hard because most people don't know who they are for it. Like, most people can't love themselves. I don't know. Like, I really love myself. Like, I really fuck with myself. And I don't let nobody, like, really play with me like that. So, and that's another reason. Somebody was saying, sorry, I remember. But somebody was saying, like, they want to see more people in my videos or whatever. But this is my channel. Like, I created this channel for y'all to fuck with me, not for a group. It's not a it's not a group thing. I mean, I, I got friends. I got friends, like, people that I fuck with on a daily. Like, it's just, yeah, but this is my channel. Like, I'm going to bring them on here when I feel like the time, like, I want to bring them over here. No shade or, like, nothing like that. But it's just, like, this is my channel. My channel. Miss Girls Need Weed. Like, if you fuck with me, you fuck it with me. We don't need no, we don't need no crowd. We don't need no group. That's another thing. I don't need no group to feel validated. I don't need validation from nobody. I am myself. <laughs> like, I, I need people to really get that through your skull. You don't need validation from nobody. If somebody don't fuck with you, they gonna fuck with you. If they don't, keep it trucking. Like, it's, it's not that hard. Or is it? Like, I don't know. I'm speaking for me and I can only speak for me so I don't know is there anything else that I really had to say for real I just won't let me roll this blunt because I'm not even I'm not even like that's why that's why I don't smoke and talk because sometimes you can't smoke and talk unless you're smoking with somebody else and they got the blunt and you talking and they listen and then you pass you on, they start talking, and then you listen. But yeah, like I was saying, my whole goal, my whole purpose is to teach people or, like, really inspire people to be true to themselves. Like, love yourself for yourself. Find something that you, that you are passionate about. Find something that you, like, that you want to do. Not because everybody else doing that shit. Just because they're doing it don't mean you ought to do it. What worked for them don't work for everybody. What worked for you not gonna work for them. That's just the world. Like, I don't know. I just want people to be different. I just want people to be different. Be yourself. But yeah, girls need weed, girls need, girls need, girls need weed. It's right, it is really weird how niggas be like, oh, I like the, I like the song, girls need weed. Or they be like, like when they see me out in public and I have like someone on there saying girls need weed, they be like, I need weed too. Or they be like, dudes need weed too. I'm like, I'm not a dude though, like, I don't, I don't do that. Yeah, I just feel like Girls Need Weed was like an outlet for me. Like, I created that to be, I don't know. Because I don't, I don't really fuck with people like that, but I fuck with people. I don't fuck with people like that, but I fuck with people. Like, when I need to, when I have to, when I want to. But I don't be, peop I don't be in people's faces. I be in my own face. Because <clears throat> I don't need to be in nobody's face. You know what I'm saying? And I don't need nobody in my face. You know? It's just, I don't know. People don't think how you think. Obviously. That's very obvious. And this is two different types of uh, tree. So this is a suicide. It's awkwardly quiet in here. Not really awkwardly quiet, but it's just like, you know, quiet. Cause we talking. 
Oh my god, I hit 600 subscribers. 600 subscribers? 600 subscribers. That's crazy. But no, for real, y'all should get some of my rolling trays. Y'all should get some lighters and y'all should get some socks. And y'all should get whatever else y'all want from me because I got free shipping the whole month of February. And February is coming to an end. So if you want to, you know, you know. Get some, but you're not the person that pay for shipping. I got free shipping right now. Oh my god, my brother here. Thank you, y'all. Thank you, guys. Yeah, but no, finish it. What I was saying, yeah, make sure y'all check out the website or whatever. And, uh,. You know. Uh, you know what she, your friend out here. Who? Yeah. Nella. No, she gone. Where the fuck she at? She went somewhere oh. with my dad. I'm a girl scout. Can you smell the film? What you doing? Why was you recording the video? Mm. Uh, I should fuck up my bed. You got something you want to say to them? You said work. I said you got something you want to say to them. I was really just talking about like, how I've been feeling lately about like, you know, businesses and brands and the want to be entrepreneurs the want to be entrepreneurs and i was just telling them how i feel like people need to really just learn how to be themselves and like really find what they're passionate about or what they think their purpose is they don't got to do something that somebody else is doing that's why i was just saying like hell shit is oversaturated or like it's a lot of people just doing shit to do it you know what i mean yeah, you sure know what i'm saying because i mean a lot of people just a lot of people don't have an identity so if yeah. you ain't had no passion, which is something I always talk about, it's one thing to be good at some shit, it's another thing to be passionate about it. Exactly. Like, as far as speaking for myself, music goes, nigga, I always been passionate about music since our mama worked at a fucking record store before y'all niggas was even thought of. So that's the difference between the, the way I feel about music versus a nigga that just started rapping two years ago just because it's Pop, financially, yeah. you know... It'll pay you, but it's like, yeah, but he ain't gonna grind like me, though. Just yeah. like somebody that, you know, see you, right? They look at you like, ooh, I want to start me a brand. They don't give a fuck about no brand. They just see you and feel like, shit, I want to I wanna do it because shit, she can do it. I feel like I can do it. But that's that, exactly. That ain't really that's a good reason to do some shit. That's what I'm just, yeah. That's really what I was just talking to them about, telling them just like, Find yourself. Like, that's what I want in 2024 for people to just do something because they want to do it and not because somebody else is doing it. What's for them is not for you, and what's for you is not for them. But hmm. it's just like. For real. It ain't no right and wrong to this shit. It's just simple fake of. Nigga, you know this, you don't really care about this shit. Right. Shit, if shit was to hit the fan with this shit, you would quit. <laughs> so so yeah. you don't want to do this shit for real. That's just how I feel. Like, nigga, this shit to hit the fan 152 times, and my shit, I ain't stopping yet. Exactly, and, I'm not going to stop. Man, everybody has, though. In, the people that already made it and people out of line, you didn't get to see all they fuck ups. You just seen them when they blew up. But nigga, you didn't. They didn't wake up with you as a fan. They earned that shit, right. just like everybody else. So shit, nigga. Yeah, them scars just hid. That's what the money do. But they ass got them. Trust the believe no, that yeah. shit. Yeah, them niggas. Yeah, that's the perfect conversation we had, especially for your age group, because a lot of younger people have more access to getting richer quicker but they don't have the work ethic exactly like people they just do they just throwing shit out there i just feel like people not really throwing nothing mean meaningful <laughs> in the air like it's nothing with anything like like what is you know um that's what it is people don't ain't putting current to it it's just like how people are running their bills so sure. hey dad Just like people that run that bees is real crazy. It's like you don't really, you ain't passionate about this shit for real. Cause why are you treating your customers like this? 
Please, Zach. If you cared about this shit, you would be thinking from their perspective, not, ooh, if I charge them this much, I can make this much in a couple months. Nigga! No. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's how they thinking now, though. No, for real, because for me, it's really not even about the money. It's just people, like, being excited about, like, ooh, that's cool. Like, I never seen, I ain't never seen that before. Just, like, that's different. Like, I like to, you know, like, so that's what I was also saying. I'm like, I like different shit. I'm, I go on Instagram and I see the same type hoodie with the same type desi design. Same it's, models and egg. Literally, <laughs> I'm just like, bro, what is going on, like? But the the it make it easy for people that really want to do this shit because a lot of people that is half stepping, they are afraid to be the face of they shit. Those are the people that will go get a hundred and fifty seven other people to be the face of their brand. It's like nigga, this your brand. It's like you should be the trailblazer, and people should be like, I want to be a part of it. Exactly. But now you, I want to be that. Yeah, you started off like, oh, this this for everybody. It's like, no, you ain't got no identity then. You trying to, you just trying to do some shit that you feel like going to work. Exactly. And that's bullshit. You don't, when you trying something, you don't know if this shit going to work or not. That's when you know you trying something new. It's like, nigga, this can be go horribly wrong. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. All the way left. <laughs> oh, God. You gonna find out, but the only way to find out is to put that shit out there. That's what most people don't do. They be scared. I don't know if they don't like it. Shit, you don't know if they they don't feel like exactly. It. And that's another thing that I was saying. The people that's gonna fuck with you, they gonna fuck with you. If somebody don't fuck with you, keep it trucking. Who cares? The life goes on. You're not meant to please every exactly. You're not meant to please everybody. Really not meant to please nobody, but. I don't know. It's just so where we live in. It's a, it's, like I said, it, as you get older, you gonna see just shit. You see it now, but you gonna see it more that it's not a, it ain't even an age thing. This shit go with people. Motherfuckers gonna be, same old you in school, we gonna be 30, 40, while you 30, 40, but they gonna be still thinking like when y'all was fresh out of high school. They're like, God damn, you got three kids. How the fuck you still thinking like that? But oh, yeah. that's just a thinking era. Like, just having a fucked up way of viewing shit. Seeing niggas as just customers instead of shit. People just like you. No, for real. Because anybody who I feel like, or like anybody who support me, is just feel like, yeah, I definitely see them as like a person, like a real somebody I end up being like, damn, they, they cool. Or like, as a person. Not because yeah, not they spending money. Cause what if they ain't got it? For real. So they don't fuck with me because they ain't bought none of my shit. I don't know what they going through. They support it as far as they can. Like they going to share your shit. They under your, in your comments. They like your shit. But it's like, bro, niggas be fucked up too. And that's how you connect with your audience. Just like, look, bro, I ain't out here trying to break out. And I ain't charging you for... Not being able to get my shit soon as it drop, cause a lot of business owners, shit, they real passionate about the money. No, Just, for real. Like, like, Y'all ain't fuck with me for real. Y'all ain't Selling out this. first job type. Yeah. Oh my God, you mean to say? <laughs> definitely ain't been about that shit now. Exactly. I don't even want it no more. Man, what? Damn, bro, I don't get paid the next week, bro. How you gonna just get mad at me cause I ain't got it right when you drop it? Damn, you finna run out of that shit? Or what? If you will, then you shouldn't be worried about my sale. You feel get some sale. Yeah. But that was basically all this uh, video was pretty much really about. Because I was just thinking about that a lot lately. And I was just like, let me tell them. And then I wanted to kind of explain, like, kind of what the whole purpose or where did I get Girls Need Weed from, for real. Mm -hmm. Or whatever, so... I was just letting them know that, and then I hit 600 subscribers, so I had to tap in, tap, mm -hmm. tap in with the people, see what's coming. Then I had to also put it out there that this is my goddamn channel. <laughs> this is my channel. 
We don't need no group. We don't need, you know, we don't need everybody. But when that time come, I'm going to give it to you. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, you want a group. It's people that's doing it already. Group channels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go, sir. Go. Don't turn my shit to what you want it to be. <laughs> it's what the fuck it is. If you don't want to watch this shit, nigga, there's a lot of people doing YouTube. Go find them. Like, no, nah, nah, I don't do that shit now. Nah. This ain't the motherfucking, this ain't no company. It's customer all her life. Fuck you. I'm paying for this shit. Yo ass ain't giving me whatever the fuck I feel like I'm finna get out. Exactly. <laughs> shit, if you don't want this shit, then, like I said, it's a lot of niggas out here doing shit. Go fuck with them. That's the nerve of niggas, though. That's, for real. That's some new shit. Like, nigga, back in the day, you couldn't just. Type to no nigga tell them what, what the fuck to do, do with that right? shit. Like this my shit. Like nah, you you should have did this. How much you put in on my shit? Oh, you, you talking a whole lot for a nigga that ain't paid for shit. <laughs> That's the only way I do it. Why I don't give advice on that when it comes to your brand, cable video, my mama shit, anybody, nigga, I didn't pay for nothing. I ain't got no shooters and you would have been better than none of that shit. Cause if I say that, why the fuck I ain't help you pay for that shit? Exactly. So shit the fuck up. I ain't got nothing to say to that. You doing whatever the fuck you want to do. And if that what you want to do, then you gonna support it. Simple. Yeah. Shit, fuck I, fuck I gotta be telling you all this extra shit for. That ain't what you asked me. Yeah, you said take this picture. Fuck I'm telling yeah. you about your shirt for. That's just me though. No, like for real, that's just me though. But uh, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tap back in with y'all. I do need to. I am gonna record a mukbang video. I am gonna get it to y'all because I've been said I was, and somebody asked for it. So I was like, y'all, let me do that. And I do got some guests coming on too when I when I when I bring them on. But uh, yeah. I just wanna say. Thank y'all for tuning in to the channel. If you subscribe, thanks for becoming a member. Thanks for becoming a real one. Thanks for fucking with me for me or whatever. If you even made it this far to the video, you is a real one. Like, you is a real one and you felt where I was coming from in this video. But, yeah, just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all.